Hello Aries, how are you? I hope this finds you well. So we are going to be doing your weekly reading. It is a general reading. It may not be able to resonate for all of you. And if you want something that is meant for your exact energy, I do a personals open and they are on sale for the next few days. You can receive a three question recorded reading for $20 or an hour Zoom reading for $50 and everything that you need to know about scheduling is in the description box below for you. So we are taking a look at your energy. We're looking at the energy of the person that you're dealing with or will be dealing with, the challenge between the two of you and the potential outcome. Got the Ace of Pentacles here as the general overall energy. You have two Aces here, so there's definitely some new uh, offer and opportunity. I do feel like some communication as well with this Ace of Swords energy being present. We have Chasing here. All right, Aries, I do. I'm kind of feeling a couple different things here. For one, Aries, I do feel like some of you guys could be getting, if you haven't just met somebody new, I feel like you guys are getting ready to meet somebody new here. But I do feel like um, you're also having this, I don't want to say that the universe is testing you, but I do feel like the universe is giving you an opportunity to to show how far you've come and to show what you've learned, right? So whether this is... You know, I feel like the universe is getting ready to bring you in something really nice. Okay, a very solid offer here with this Ace of Pentacles and this Magician energy and this King of Cups energy. Some really nice things. And I feel like intuitively you can feel something. Okay, I feel like you're, you're feeling that something is coming. For others of you, I do feel that... Well, I want to say others of you. I feel like you're, I do feel like you guys are feeling like something's coming. But I also feel like you may feel that your ex is coming back around too. And I feel like you guys are right. I feel like there's going to be two things presented to you, two different people, a brand new person and um, somebody that you've been trying to move away from. Now, this connection, I feel like there's been a lot of secrets. There's been a lot of lies. I think it's been very challenging for you um, to move past this. There could have been a lot of betrayal, okay? And I do feel like intuitively you can feel like this person isn't done or that they're going to try to come back or something like that here, okay? But you don't trust them. There's a lot of secrets and you know that you don't have all the information, right? You know that there's probably more that you don't even know about. And I feel like you guys do know about a lot. You have that ace, there have this ace of swords here. So I do feel like there's going to be some kind of communication. Their intentions though is the moon card. So they still have secrets. They still have things that are, um, you know, hidden. I just feel like a part of them can, just like you're intuitive and you can feel that there's a change coming. I feel like they can also feel like you're slipping away. Okay, so I do feel like it's causing them to move after you here to start to chase. They have the, for their action, they have the Six of Cups. So spending a lot of time reminiscing, thinking about the past, thinking about, you know, all the ways that you added benefits to their life. I just feel like this person is spending a lot of time uh, lost on memory lane with you here. The challenge here, Aries, is the magician. I feel like, one, the challenge is that you're manifesting something else over here. Okay, something brand new and you're being asked to not settle. You're being asked to have the courage and the strength to, wow, you know, that asking to have the courage and the strength to not settle, to stand your ground. Um, and if you can do that, there's definitely a reward. You're having this King of Pentacles type energy come in, something that has the potential to be very stable, long-term serious. And, you know, I feel like that's one of the issues with this connection is that there is no stability here. I think there's been a lot of pain. I think it's kind of, for some of you guys, could have been very on and off or just very unhealthy. Um, and Spirit saying that this is kind of your test. If you can pass this test, you get everything that you want here. You get that exact relationship that you've been trying to manifest here. Okay? So, you know, you're definitely being asked to, to not settle and to stand your ground and to know that what you've been manifesting is, is on its way because it is, okay, because it is. For a lot of you guys, I do feel like you guys are going to be able to, uh, to pass this test because you do have the King of Cups. I feel like you're in a very, I think you're in a very solid emotional place right now. For a lot of you, you guys have learned a lot of lessons. You've grown a ton from this experience. And you have the clarity and the wisdom that you need. 
I do feel like you could be having a conversation with this person, just letting this person know where you're at. For others of you, you have the seven of wands. You could have this person blocked or could block this person, so you don't even have to. I just feel like you're very clear about what you want and what's best for you. And I think because of that, you're moving towards a space of having a love that is very keen of cups, keen of pentacles, right? Something's very solid, stable, long-term lasting. I feel like this person is sensing that you're slipping away. They can sense this shift just like you are. Tell me about this Ace of Swords here. Got the Ace of Cups. Somebody's coming in wanting to start things back up with you. Okay. And now for those of you where you just met somebody, they could they could know that you're, you know, they could know that you're starting something new and that could be why they're coming. For others, I feel like they just sense it. Tell me about this moon card energy. Queen of Wands in the reverse. So especially for those of you where there's been a, like cheating and third parties and things in the past, I think that this has already played a huge, had, or has already had a huge impact on your self-esteem and your self-worth and your self-confidence, the way that you view yourself. I feel like you're being cautioned with that, okay? Because I don't think that anything has changed here. Tell me about this Six of Cups energy, clarified by the Six of Cups. So this person is spending a lot of time thinking about the past. Some of you guys could be dealing with a Scorpio. You do have Scorpio here a few times. You got the Ace of Cups. You have the King of Cups. You got the Six of Cups twice. You also have Pisces here a couple times. You have Aquarius. You have Leo, but I do feel like some of you guys could be having a Leo or a Taurus coming in for you. Okay, it doesn't have to be, um, but those that's, it's definitely very possible. You also have Gemini here as well. Why is this magician here? The nine of wands. So somebody, you know, I feel like this is a challenge all the way around. One, I think you're standing your ground and putting your guard up because you know that you are manifesting something much better and what you've been, the kind of relationship and love that you've been trying to manifest is on its way to you. I also feel like they've been trying to manifest you because they're not ready to give up on this yet. They're not ready to give up on you yet. So I do, I feel like you guys are, are about to experience a very, uh, we'll, we'll call it a test from the universe, but if you guys can pass, um, I think you're getting everything you want. Your manifestation is on the way. You're just being asked to to have faith in that and to just know what's coming. But that is what I have for you. Now, if this resonates, let me know. If it doesn't, then just check out your other placements. Everything that you need to know, whether it's about this reading, scheduling your personals, Patreon, the tarot course, all of that is in the description box below for you. And if you want personal prayers for any reason, you can just put the little prayer emoji in the comments down below and I will go through and pray for you. But if this is where we part, thank you for being here and supporting me and I will see you soon.